Good afternoon. My name is Daisuke Sasaki. I'm an associate professor at the International Research Institute of Disaster Science, IRIDES, at Tohoku University. I'm so honored to give a presentation at the IGNA stage of the seventh session of the Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. Today, I would like to talk about the importance of investment in disaster risk reduction. First of all, I'd be grateful if you could watch the video message from the director of our institute, Professor Fumihiko Imamura. Thank you. Hello, all of you. My name is Fumihiko Imamura, director of the International Research Institute of Data Sciences at Tohoku University, IDIDES. First of all, congratulations on the GP 2022. Our institute, IRIDES, at Tohoku University, was established in the April 2012, one year after the Great East Japan earthquake tsunami. IRIDES fully supported uh, the third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction held in Sendai in March 2015, and we are continuing various research on disaster science and practical activity. Uh, focusing on the industry, government, academia, collaboration in Japan and abroad to promote implementation of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015 to 30, adopted at the uh, World Risk Conference. We are also uh, actively uh, participating in the effort of the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. For example, the Working Group and the International Organization for Disaster Standardization, ISO, uh, TC268, ASC1, Smart Community Infrastructure, as well as the Global Center for Disaster Statistics, providing academic support uh, for monitoring and evaluation of the progress in implementation of the Sendai Framework, which are acknowledged by the Sendai Framework Volunteer Commitment. Based on the collaboration agreement with our hometown Sendai City, we have been engaged in the formulation of the Sendai City Regional Disaster Risk Reduction Plan, discussing the tsunami evacuation measure and supporting the evacuation map workshop by residents. We have decided to continue the development of the, our partnership with the Sendai City. In this way, IDES has the work to deepen disaster science while also focusing on the practical aspect uh, of disaster risk reduction. We will continue uh, to develop the academic research on disaster science uh, and also aim for the reconstruction of the area affected by the Great East Japan earthquake tsunami. We are very much looking forward to work with you and make collaboration further more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your kind attention. This slide shows the current level of the estimated annual expenditure on protection against floods in Asia, climate change adaptation, CCA in the world, and the future needs for these purposes. The need for investment in flood protection in Asia by 2030 is projected to be approximately 100 billion US dollars, that is nearly three times as much as the investment observed in 2015. CCA will require an investment of at least 100 million US dollars in 2030. Please note that some of the amounts to be invested in flood protection may have been included in the projected investment in CCA. And further, there is no exactitude in the estimated amounts because various methods of estimation have been employed. This slide shows the amount of finance flowing from industrialized countries to developing countries for disaster risk reduction, DRR, humanitarian assistance, and CCA. There may be overlaps in these amounts, but this cannot be identified because the data have been drawn from various sources. The amount of humanitarian assistance, which includes the response to man-made and natural disasters, is similar to CCA and larger than DRR. Investment in the XNT measures of DR 
that is preparing for and mitigating disaster risks account for less than 10% of DR financing, humanitarian assistance, and CCA financing. Financing CCA aimed at strengthening public resilience in coastal regions accounts for 5 to 10% of total CCA financing. This figure shows one of our research results, which conceptualizes the issues to be resolved toward financing investment in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. One of the four issues uh, is data definition and accurate estimation of financing DR and CCA. Building a comprehensive view of DR and CCA financing is challenging because the estimating methods and database of DR and CCA financing have not been sufficiently developed. The second issue is harmonization of pre-disaster response activities, recovery efforts, and development. Various international and national organizations are involved in financing and coordination of their successive phases of disaster management, which are pre-disaster response activities, recovery efforts, and development. The variety of involved organizations leads to poor coordination among these activities and imbalance in the funding. The third issue is uh, justification of investment in DR and CCA. It is necessary to justify the demand of investment in DR and CCA at the national level and project scale. Furthermore, the factors that affect the value of finance need to be analyzed to facilitate the strengthening of investment policies. The fourth issue is innovative approaches to investment in DR and CCA. There is a need to develop innovative means of financing to increase the investment in DR and CCA projects and the efficiency of the implementation. Stakeholders should share roles and responsibilities in financing projects in various countries based on the characteristics and history of each country. While the public sector meets the cost of DR and CCA, the private sector and local communities could share some responsibility in costs. I like to introduce some of our research results and activities in terms of these four issues in the following slides. One of our research activities related to the issue of data definition and estimate method is the Global Center for Disaster Statistics, GCDS. The GCDS was established in partnership with our institute, IRIES, at Tokyo University, UNDP, and other organizations with the objective of support to achieve the Sendai framework and SDGs. As Director Imamura has already mentioned, the activities of the GCDS are acknowledged as one of the Sendai framework voluntary commitments. This table summarizes fresh appeals for four recent disasters in the Asia-Pacific region. Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, Cyclone Pound in 2015, the Nepal Gorka earthquake in 2015, and the Sylvester earthquake in Indonesia in 2018. As you can see, the early recovery cluster accounts for approximately 4% to 6% of the humanitarian cluster system. Some clusters may account for a quarter of the total, so the percentage of early recovery cluster is not necessarily large. Early recovery is considered to be beneficial for effective transition from response to rehabilitation and recovery. In this sense, further investigation on this matter would be required from the viewpoint of harmonization of response activities, recovery efforts, and development. As an example of the benefit analysis, which could contribute to the justification of the investment in DR and CCA, Professor Mikio Ishimatari will show you the results of our collaborative research on the case of Naturi River in Sendai City. Professor Ishimatari, the floor is yours. Okay, I would explain a case study of benefit analysis. As you know, project-based uh, benefit analysis or cost-benefit analysis is widely conducted. However, a whole river basin wider area or a longer period, it is quite difficult to analyze and the methods of uh, analysis has not been established. As a case study, we've conducted such analysis in Naturi River Basin. Naturi River is flowing through Sendai City. You can see Sendai City downtown, Shinkansen bullet train, highways, and the uh, flood protection facilities, etc. The Japanese government 
has invested in flood protection in Natu River Basin. Total amount is around 610 billion Japanese yen for the last over 70 years. It's around 5.5 billion US dollars. Recently, the government is investing around 1 billion Japanese yen annually. At peak, the government invested around 2 to 7 billion Japanese yen annually. Next, we estimated benefit of damage decrease. In 2019, big typhoon Hagibis hit Japan. Sendai city was threatened by the typhoon. However, because of uh, facilities, dams, and uh, embankments, flood damage was uh, minimized. Without facilities, huge areas were flooded. Estimated damage is around 350 billion Japanese yen. It's around 3 billion US dollars. It accounts for one third budget of Sendai city. Inaugurated houses are around 150,000 houses. Not only 2019, several times Sendai city was threatened by heavy rainfall or typhoons. Because of uh, facilities, these areas are protected. But without facilities, it is a damage estimation. In total, 1.52 trillion Japanese yen, or 14 billion US dollars. So, What's the benefit of this investment for long term over seven decades in Natu Yiba? As I explained, total estimate benefit is 1.52 trillion Japanese yen, and the investment is 0.613 trillion Japanese yen. Calculation is very simple, just divide it, so 2.5. So it is said in Sendai city, benefit cost ratio is 2.5. Thank you. Lastly, I show you a case of green infrastructure in Japan as one of the examples of the innovative approaches in the RNCCA. Kamisaigo River in Fukutsu city, located in Fukuoka prefecture has been widened after the restoration in 2015 and access to the waterfront has been improved, resulting in enhanced wildlife habitat and a significant increase in the number of people using the river recreationally. In this case, a huge co-benefit along with disaster risk reduction has been generated, and thus green infrastructure could be one of the most innovative approaches to investment in DR and CCA. Last but not least, I would like to introduce our book, Disseminating the Findings of the Research on Investments in Disaster Risk Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation. The title is Financing Investment in Disaster Risk Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation, Asian Perspectives. The book will be published very soon by Spring and Nature. This slide shows the table of contents of our book. We'd be very grateful if you could take the book in your hands. Thank you for your kind attention. We appreciate your continued support and cooperation for the activities of our institute. Thank you very much.